and the community is now up in arms over the recent string of violence and they held a prayer rally this past weekend. Now we've uncovered church leaders are hosting a prayer rally Wednesday. WJCL Chelsea McDonald is working for you and has more information. Chelsea? Yeah, well the rally this Wednesday is called Push. Pray until something happens. The church leaders believe there's so many violent crimes because there's a lack of prayer. The rash of child shooting started Tuesday when a bullet hit two year old Kiaja Smalls in her sleep. Two days later, a gunshot grazed a six year old girl walking to school. Then last weekend, a 12 year old boy was shot. Investigators believe it happened during a party with around 30 people. We need to stop the violence because now it's not the adults getting shot, it's the children getting shot. Pastor Dr. Arlene Fuller and her daughter are organizing a prayer rally to stop the violence. This family knows the power of prayer can change lives. And my daughter used to be in the gang when she was a teenager. She used to carry guns when she was a teenager. And by me being a pastor and me praying for her, God changed your life. And if we're all in one place and we all with one accord, I believe that we all can make a difference. But to make a difference, they'll need the community to start trusting police. If we know that somebody shot somebody, we know who did it, we need to do the right thing and go to the police and let the police know who is doing all these um, shootings. You know, we protect them with one another. You know, it could be your house next. Meanwhile, neighbors hope these rallies will create a shield for our children. These children, they're, it's cliche, but they're our future and we want to keep them around and we want to protect them and they are innocent. It's, it's not fair. The rally is this Wednesday at 6 o'clock at night. It'll be at a church on 219 West 45th Street. They want this to be the first and not the last rally. Reporting in the studio, Chelsea McDonald, WJCL News, working for you.